What's up everybody, back again with another build of one of McMaven's amazing designs. This time it is the triple axis tourbillon design recently posted to Thingiverse. Uh, and here it is. It's taken me a few weeks to get this together. Uh, I thought it was going to be a pretty simple build compared to some of the other ones, but that turned out to not be the case. A lot of tweaking and adjusting and minor modifications that I've made to get this thing working reliably. And I've also added some additional features and functions that are completely unnecessary, but I can never leave well enough alone and just want to play around and see if I can make things work. So here it is. Uh, I will go ahead and power it on. I'll show you a longer time lapse later, but I click this, it turns on, and starts its thing. Uh, what you will see in the bottom left right here is just a seven segment display and that will cycle through the speed setting of the stepper motor. Uh, it just cycles, all of them are gonna fall within three digits. This, I've calibrated it so that it starts off at 545. Uh, um, it's not steps per minute, that's just a value in the Arduino program that I've used. So if I power it up, You'll see it flash five, four, five. Then I'll do that again, and then it will do it a third time, and then it will turn off. Uh, the LED, the decimal point on the seven segment dis display is just a power indicator, and then the rotary dial on the back here allows you to speed it up or slow it down. Again, like the other designs, this isn't really designed to speed up or slow down. It's more to tune the stepper motor speed to the balance wheel. So if I go ahead and crank this down, and actually that may be cranking up. Yes, it was, sorry. So you'll see it's now at 910, so 910. That doesn't really work. It's actually exceeding the limits of the stepper motor. So. I'll go ahead and crank it back down. So you'll hear it start ticking, and then once I get to a certain point, I'll stop. So I got the 520. So it's just a real quick way to calibrate this without having to plug it into a computer and view the uh, serial monitor. One other feature that I've added is, let's say you get this thing tuned completely out of whack. So I'll go ahead and turn it pretty much all the way down. So we're at 260 right now uh, you can go ahead and if you hold this down for five seconds you'll see that LED flash there you go and now it resets it back to 545 which was the default starting value so it's just a quick reset back to the starting point that it's calibrated for so again not needed, but a nice little feature. Uh, let me go ahead and power this off. I'll show you the wiring on the bottom, and then I'll show you it in motion. All right, so now you can see the electronic components inside the base of the triple axis. It's a very similar set of components to the gyro tourbillon model, as well as the triaxial tourbillon clock uh, with a motorized conversion. So you've got an Arduino Uno that powers everything. Uh, it is feeding five volts and ground to a stepper motor driver board and then four signal wires and then the five volt stepper motor just plugs into that driver board. Uh, the signal wires for that stepper motor driver are on pins 8, 9, 10, and 11 in my wiring here. Uh, you've got your rotary encoder that has got two pins here on two and three, which are the interrupt pins for the left and right rotation of the rotary encoder. And then this green wire here on pin four 
is the push button switch that's incorporated into the encoder. And then down here you have your seven segment display. As it sounds, there are seven signal wires spread out across these digital pins, but I've also gone over and used some of the analog pins on this Arduino Uno, which can be used as digital outputs. And there's actually an eighth signal pin that is the decimal point on that display. And then there's just a common ground pin with a resistor in series for current limiting purposes. So hope that was interesting. Here's a quick video of it in operation.